Hi guys, welcome back to this channel. In this video, I am going to be making five different homemade baby food with chicken in them. As you requested, this video has been requested a lot, so there you go. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. If you've been here in this channel, welcome back and thank you for your time. If you're new to this channel, just so you know, this channel is all about homemade baby food making and toddler baby food making. My son is in the background trying to escape. So, without further ado, let's get started. We are going to be starting off with black beans and chicken. I am going to be using coconut oil to saute the chicken. I am going to be using candied black beans, but you can definitely use black beans made from scratch. But I don't have that much time, so I'm just going to be using just a candied one. Add one fourth cup of vegetable broth, or you can use more if you want to. Cook for 5 more minutes and let it all cool down before you put it in the blender. I'm adding up a little bit of water to thin out consistency. You can also use more of the vegetable broth but I prefer not to do that to lessen the sodium. Here is the texture of our recipe number one. You can definitely mix this some more if you want it to be a little more smoother, but for me, this looks just fine. Just a quick interruption you guys before we continue on with the rest of the recipes. I want to let you know about this other recipe that I about this other recipe video that I made about five different ways to make homemade baby food with bananas in them as well as the other videos in my channel. If you're new to this channel, please hit the subscribe and I upload videos once a week about homemade baby food and toddler baby food and don't forget to hit the button below to get notified every time I post a video. So let's get back to our video. Recipe number two is potatoes, carrots, and chicken. I am going to be sieving up our vegetables, which are the potatoes and carrots. And I am going to be adding up a piece of chicken thigh. I am steaming this up for about 25 minutes and halfway through it, I flip the chicken to make sure it's all nice and cooked through. It's all done and it's very tender, but I will wait a few minutes to let it cool off before I put this in a food processor or in a blender. Water for thinner consistency and blend until you get your desired texture. Recipe number three is rice, peas, spinach, and chicken. I am cooking my one cup of rice with two cups of vegetable broth. And I'm gonna let this cook through halfway before I add in my chicken. Add in my frozen peas when the rice and chicken are all cooked together with the spinach. I realized that my rice is way too much so I decided to add more peas and more spinach. Cook for five more minutes and let it cool off. This is definitely a big batch of rice and chicken, but it's good because you can just put it in the freezer and keep it there for about a month. 
They said that you can keep baby food in the freezer for about two to three months, but I don't really follow that. I don't like my baby food being three months old or two months old. So I just generally keep it in the freezer for a month. Recipe number four is green beans, carrots, and chicken. I am steaming up again the veggies together with um, cut up chicken. This time I decided to chop up the chicken a little smaller because um, this way it will only take about 15 minutes rather than 25 to 30 minutes. I do want to mention though the consistency of these foods. As you can see, this is on the thicker side, just like the rice and chicken that I made earlier. But I, I prefer it like this because these foods are going to go in the freezer. And I prefer them being like this rather than a, a watery baby food. Because I find that when you freeze this this way, it's better and you just add a little bit of water or breast milk when you're ready to warm them up for use. Last but not the least is green beans, corn, and chicken. I am also steaming up my green beans and my cut up chicken, but I am not putting the corn right away until they're done because I'm only using frozen corn and they're already cooked. So I don't need to cook them, I just need to warm them up with the rest of the ingredients. Total cook time for this recipe is 15 minutes. And just like that, you have a month supply of homemade baby food that are all natural, preservative free, and as a mama, you exactly know what went in all these foods. And there's three ways that you can thaw this. You can either give it a hot bath, meaning you can put it in a bowl of hot water and submerge it there for a few minutes. You can put it in a pan and warm it that way. Or if you don't have time, you can microwave it for 25 seconds. And all these amazing jars are available on Amazon. I'll make sure to put the link down below. And thank you for watching. And I hope to see you on my next video. Thanks!